Welcome to On Fleet Digital Magazine. My name is Susan Van Brackle and I am going to be your host. This is our first of hopefully many shows that I will bring you having to do with lifestyle, entertainment, fashion, music. So let's get started. It's 2020. My how the decade went so quickly. I'm here to bring you the top 10, according to On Fleet Digital Magazine, of the ladies who actually brought it home this year. Starting with... What greater time right now to be a female rider? We are outpowering men. We want to change the perception of the motorsports industry to show that women are here and we're here in bigger numbers. If I'm going to be fly, it has to be functionally, let's just say, fly. So I gotta wear boots. Okay, good deal. Gotta wear gloves. <laughs> it was a cool ride until we got to Gonzalez. That's when we felt the heat. Let me tell y'all something. When I tell you black girls, I'm shutting down. You're seeing what is uh, known as like a family reunion. Happy birthday to you. Well, I'm from Woodbridge, Virginia. I rode about 1,700 total miles. It took me two and a half days to get here. I injured my back last year, and so I made a promise to myself that I was going to be up and out and ready to ride. Uh, everyone backed out on me, but I decided I was making it by myself. We love to just show women what a powerful woman on a motorcycle looks like. I had people singing on the side of the road, waving, oh, your bike is beautiful, cool. Those were girls, those are girls. I saw that too, that was awesome. For the traffic stopping, because they was amazed as well as all the female riders as well. That was a uh, high right there. Just everybody was just overtaken by all the female riders. We made our mark here today. That's what's important. I honestly believe that it unifies female riders. It does not matter what race, whatever. It unifies every female rider. I think you already know my name. And speaking of bold, brash moves, Christina Aguilera has been lighting up the stage at Sappos Theater in Las Vegas' Planet Hollywood. Her aptly named Extina concert has been in residency since May 2019 and wraps up at year's end. She recently celebrated her 39th birthday and plans to add three more performances in late February into early March. Christina Aguilera is only one of four performers to consistently have number one hits on the charts throughout the last three decades. Just listen and you'll know why. No doubt many will agree that Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. Jenny from The Block, had the best 2019 ever. Not only did she host the It's My Party countrywide concert to commemorate her 50th birthday, she made a splash at New York Fashion Week and the Met Gala. She's up for a Golden Globe for her performance in Hustlers, and she was the Council of Fashion Designers of America Woman of the Year. 
Oh, did I forget to mention that J-Lo and Shakira are headlining the halftime show at Super Bowl 54? Which, according to La Lopez, is a dream come true. Like the most beautiful person in the world is from your love. Thank you so much. Thank you, CFDA, for this incredible honor and to all the designers in this room and this industry who have added immeasurably to my personal and professional life. Thank you for having collaborated with me, embraced me, and shared with me the best of your art, your creations, your style, and mostly your kindness and love. I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much. On Fleek Digital Magazine had the honor of meeting esteemed sculptress Vinnie Bagwell during the artist selection process to replace the infamous J. Marion Sims statue that resided on Manhattan's Fifth Avenue. The bronze sculpture has been in New York City for over a century. Ms. Bagwell ultimately won the commission to design and replace Sims' statue. Sims is best known for committing hideous medical experiments on enslaved black women. His image will be replaced with Ms. Bagwell's submission of victory. And what a victory this is. Fifteen-year-old Coco Goff took the tennis world by storm when she became one of the youngest females ever to compete in the U.S. Open in 2019. A youngster at heart, she encouraged kids to work hard and always do their best when she appeared at Arthur Ashe Kids Day. Naomi Osaka ultimately won the match between Coco and herself, but we've not seen the last of this formidable young lady. Olympic gold medalist Alila Muhammad is so fast. How fast is she? She's breaking world speed records against herself. In 2019, Ms. Muhammad broke the record for being the fastest woman in the world to run the 400 meter hurdles. Then she broke her own fastest world record again when she came in even faster. To top it all off, she was cover girl for On Fleek Digital Magazine in 2019 and wrapped up that year with the World Athlete of the Year Award bestowed to her by the International Association of Athletics Federation. That is amazing. Have you ever had a bucket list of things that you wanted to do? In this edition, on Fleek Digital Magazine looks back at 2019 as well. as we get closer to the time. Until then, stay tuned. How are you, sir? Don't me in the back. And if I'm lucky, I will be able to see them when they come. We're all gonna be able to say we made it over. So hang in there, we've got a few more hours to go.
Hi people, we're back. So I have the glorious Miss Tasha Howe of How It's Done Hair Salon, and she's gonna give us a little backdrop on, you know, how she got in the game and where we can find her if you would like to have services for your natural hair. Well, um, wow, I got in the game about 20 years ago, and I used to work with my godmother, okay? <laughs> she had a salon called Beyond Braids, this is back in the day, they say. Mm -hmm. And I would go to Bernie's Johnson, I would come from dance class, and I would help. And, mm -hmm. and I just fell in love with that from there. And as a little shop baby and assistant, and then from there I went to high school and cosmetology, and I just loved the business. I would go back in the summertime, work with her, and as I got older, I ventured out on my own, and here I am. Mm -hmm. Consistency brought me to my own salon. That's and, fantastic. Yeah, I'm very thankful. Yes. And the support of my clientele and my community. Mm -hmm. I've always worked in my community where I grew up, which is Rochdale Village. I was going to say, tell them, tell us yes. about your community. You my know? community, Rochdale Village, is, it is a village. Mm -hmm. I always say <laughs> it is like the best kept secret. Um, Jewel of Jamaica. Those are like our little sayings around. Woo -woo. <laughs> And yeah, it really is. I grew up here, went to school here, worked in the neighborhood, and now I came back and I'm able to have my own salon within Rochdale Village. Mm -hmm. And um, we're known as Mall 2, um, Outdoor Mall. It's closer adjacent to the Citibank and um, Express Bus. Express Bus. Regular yes. Bus. Long, Long Island Railroad. Yes, honey. You can find us. So Expressway. <laughs> yes, we're Bell extremely Parkway. accessible. You are so right. I love it. Yeah. Uh, that's the beauty of where we are, is mm -hmm. that it's really in the heart of everything. You know what I mean? If uh, Once you find us, it's like, wow, I never knew. A lot of people say, well, I never knew this was here, and it's so convenient, close to the railroad buses. You're close. If you want to leave from here and run to the airport, five minutes away. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's true. Done that's and catch true. a flight. I forgot to mention flights. <laughs> so it's just flying so, yeah. in Atlanta, you know. <laughs> I get your little dudes done and head back out. I love it. You know, I tend to... I, I tend to brag about my community a lot, maybe because I am I am a product of it, mm -hmm. you know, and my community supported me, and now I'm back here and third owner of How It's Done. It's been um, a black-owned salon for over 25 years. Wow, that's and fantastic. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. so happy to be a part of a legend, mm -hmm. be part of a legacy, mm -hmm. I should say. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes some of the even the stylists from 20 years ago still have their names in the cubbies in the back. And when they wow. come back, they see their names here. And it's, it's really beautiful. It just makes me feel very close to my community. Yes. I love it. And I thank you yes. for allowing me to share that story. Sure, sure. I really because am. as an extension of that story, when I got married, this is the salon that did my hair. Yeah, see, mm -hmm. like, and that's, those are the stories that I love to hear, mm -hmm. because this, this actual location has so much history for mm -hmm. the community, yeah. you know, so many people that come in here have stories that they can tell us, mm -hmm. okay, so that is just a gem in its own, yes. okay, yeah. and also while we're here, mm -hmm. I have <laughs> some, like, awesome barbers that I work with, yes, yeah, yes. you coming, I only have, like, so it's full service, it's full from service, barber I mean. to mm -hmm. locticians, locticians to, to, you can have braided styles done, one of my barbers, he specializes in facials, mm. yeah, another one of my stylists, she does excellent braiding, one, I have, I have several styles, I have another one of my stylists, Dawn, she's great with treatment. Mm -hmm. She's lovely when she she's um, remarkable when it comes to restoring hair and healthy mm -hmm. hair, any kind of mm -hmm. damage mm -hmm. hair. Mm -hmm. Some women are dealing with alopecia. She really takes her time and come up with these different treatments for individuals. Mm -hmm. You know, not mm -hmm. a, a generic kind of treatment. Um, I have a stylist Lottie, and she's a master with the weaving. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just. I'm just so happy to be around so many creative people on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we work well together. We uh -huh. bounce off each yes. other, you yes. know. So I, it took some time to get here, but I'm so thankful that I stuck in, you know, and That's was great. able to reap what we have going on here. So in closing, we want to make sure that all the women can find out how to get their crowning glory done right at how it's done. So Tasha's going to give us some information on how we can find her. Well, you can find us. We're located at 16939 137th Avenue, Rochdale Village, Jewel of Jamaica. Um, also, my Instagram is ladylock11. So that's L-A-D-Y-L-O-C. One one Lady Lock Eleven, and also if you like to call us to see if we're in, find out hours. 
Or if you can come in for an appointment, make an appointment, you can reach us at 718-949-HOWE, H-O-W-E, or 718-949-4693. And that's the salon number. Yes, yes that's the yes. direct salon landline. Tasha, mm -hmm. I appreciate Thank you. you, Susan. Thank you. Oh my so gosh, much. I appreciate you. How it's done? Yes, on fleek, fleek, fleek. Oh. How it's done? Fleek, oh, oh. Fleek. We'll be right back. <laughs> and speaking of beauty, an easy breezy cover girl store popped up in the middle of Times Square. It's a PlayStation, a multi-level PlayStation where women can try on, get makeovers, have fun, and it's not your mother's cover girl, that's for sure. Maybe you'll want to stop by. And speaking of Beyonce, Mrs. Carter starred in her own biopic entitled Homecoming, which drew 1.1 million viewers on Netflix in 2019 at an estimated cost of $20 million. She penned a deal with Adidas to launch the Ivy Park athletic clothing line, which is just launching now. And she was the voice of Nala in Disney's remake of The Lion King. And in addition, released the lead song of the epic redo, entitled Spirit. She has had a banner year. Twenty nineteen was quite the year for the Duchess of York, but she handled it with grace and poise. Not only was she still getting acclimated to married life as a royal, she is a new mother and constantly subjected to relentless criticisms on everything from how she holds her baby to how she holds her husband, Prince Harry's hand. At times, the strain was beginning to show. All in all, she's made bold moves to establish herself as an individual within the pack and continues to set the tone for what treatment she will and will not allow. And to that I say, touche. The book Becoming, penned by former First Lady Michelle Obama, continues to be the number one best-selling autobiography in the country. Between book signings, being nominated for a Grammy for a spoken word version of the book, and being a wife and mother, this boss lady is, for the second year in a row, recognized as the woman most admired by Americans. I hope you enjoyed On Fleek Digital Magazine's countdown list of women on fleek that continue to set the world on fire and are doing their thing. Who knows, the next person on the list will be you. Until next time, stay on fleek.